Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got some gaming news to talk about. I seriously don't know what is going on in gaming. We got this Assassin's Creed situation, the BBC Samurai situation. We talked about it like crazy, okay? But we also got this Concord situation, right? You know, back in the days, we would have simple games, right? Like, the, the, the devs would make games for the gamers, and ultimately, they would be fun. Now, we got, like, this kind of crap. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. And guys, put your seatbelts on for this one, man. Report. Conquer dev demanded co-workers refer to her as professor. Pushed extreme politics and demanded her unvaccinated colleagues be fired. What? What is going on in gaming right now? What is going on in gaming right now? You're not ready for this one. Shout out to the homie Yellow Flesh for this. Check this roll it. The new DLC dropped for everybody's favorite gaming disaster. I just wanted to show you after yesterday the new DLC dropped for everybody's favorite gaming disaster. I just wanted to show you some of the pictures that are starting to emerge because people are yeah. actually playing this now. Here's one of them. Good old Victoria Freeze. <laughs> who's on a mission to save her wife. This isn't even the only thing. There's more. There's even a trailer, and the trailer is really bad. I'll probably play it tomorrow on okay. stream. <laughs> Here's some of the DLCs. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, it's bad, but I'll probably play it tomorrow on stream. Okay. Yeah. Man, at this point, gamers are just like, okay. We're so, like, used to bad games and, and disappointment that, yeah, it's like another day. Oh, man, another game. Another game being, like, that bad. Another game pushing ideologies, uh, the woke stuff, and uh ultimately saying gamers are toxic well tough love maybe yeah we have been called that many times right suits you can get uh, this is like mr zero mr outfit, zero okay. if you don't know what that is I, I think that's what this is it's like the that's like the name of mr freeze in the 60s it's mr zero uh this is supposed to be his outfit i think and then there's yeah. another one right here wow and we have this one it's got a bunch of green slime on it and then there's this one this is of course the pride of all the outfits, I'm sure. The real question I had is how many players were going to flock back to this game now that it's got new DLC out? Well, let's look. Oh. <laughs> had a peak of 572, you say. So here's the spike. And you can tell the spike came from the DLC because there's nothing quite like it over the past week. How? Let's look at three months. Man. I'm going to guess that Joker came out around here. Yeah. On May 26th. There's also this one. Maybe Joker came out June 30th. I don't remember when Gay Joker <laughs> dropped. Because he's obviously... <laughs> that, that. What? No! <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, because I, I I heard this. Like, they turned Joker gay as well. Right? I mean, that doesn't sh surprise me. I mean, when these suckers can take a real-life person, Yasuke. Yasuke, real-life person. He is a real guy, okay? He was a real guy. What we're learning is that he was not a samurai. He was a retainer, Okay. But he was a real person that was not gay, and ultimately they made a dead man gay in the game. So, when you got this crap happening, I mean, I'm not shocked as to if they made the Joker gay as well, though. So, yeah. It's for, for sure. It, he is. Uh, at least, he, it, they heavily allude to it, for sure, you can tell, with that character, uh -huh. and the uh -huh. way he acts. But, maybe that was when this happened, or that might have been the Steam sale, but players jumped up to 665 uh, peak. Wow, on that's Sunday, good, that's the good, 30th that's of June. And then here's the next one, and this is for the uh, non-binary Mr. Mrs. Freeze character. Yeah. Uh, no one came back. So these <laughs> DLCs are bringing nobody to the table. It's kind of funny to see this game go down like it is because it really is the poster child of woke in game. And I don't want to ruin... Uh... Yeah, okay, let me actually ruin that real quick. Okay? Me, <laughs> but it's not me that's doing that. Yo. This is not me. They literally done that. Oh my god, bro. That's, uh, this is what they've done to the, the character design of Lara Croft, bro. Like, I, I, I mean, what the actual hell? What is going on? Why you suck is doing that to the, the, the characters that people had no problem with? You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't get it, though. I don't get it though, like, th this is Rise of the Tomb Raider gameplay that you're watching right now in the background, right? Look at that, bro. Just amazing character design. And it was a good game as well. You know, it was a good game. Now, well, get, well, gang, get ready for this here. Well, get ready. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Gaming. Why? Now we're going to shift gears to the next disaster, Concord. Uh -oh, uh -oh. A game that Sony is for sure going to lose millions of dollars yeah. on. We talked about Without a it, doubt, right. this game is going to be a financial disaster for them. Uh, this is the now the story here is this, and this is absolutely pathetic. This is gonna—it's uh, comical at this point. 
So these suckers saw more people playing their game when it was for pre-ordered only people, okay? So like you pre-ordered the game and you get the chance to play the beta early, right? And we saw approximately 2,000 some people play the game, right? Bruh. If you thought that was bad, well, what we're learning is that the game, the beta went free to play and it then saw 8% decline on PlayStation compared to its early access beta. You know how pathetic that is, right? We're talking PlayStation here. Yeah, people were like, yeah, it's just the Steam charts, right? Because 2,000 people uh, we saw on Steam. So Steam was telling us 2,000 people were playing this game. That was the all-time peak. 2,000 something. Then it got down to 1,100 people. Bruh. And that was pre-order only on Steam. So what we're learning is that for early access, it saw 8% decline on PlayStation, mind you, in comparison to its early access beta that was... Uh, before on playstation and pc as well so crazy that's insane bro the next big woke in gaming the freaking robot has pronouns robot a robot isn't a he or a she but he's a he him in this game and the numbers for this game were a disaster as well uh, it had a peak of 2380 yeah, players go. this was for the open beta <laughs> oh no this was for the <laughs> pre-order only pre-order only beta bro the report comes in the wake of Steam DB data showing that the peak concurrent plays for the game on Steam only hit 2,388 on July 18th when the open beta went live. At the end of the open beta, the game was only hitting a peak of concurrent 1,117 players. Pretty pathetic. But there's some weird shit that was going on over there, and Smash JT, yeah, this a good one. guy, Man. like his channel, check it out, uh, got an insider source where somebody that worked on the game came out and blasted this uh, <laughs> designer on the game who wanted to be called the professor. And if you didn't call her the professor, you would get fired. Also tried to get people fired for not getting the jab. All kinds of crazy stuff. Bruh. So I thought we would switch over to his video <laughs> and watch some of it because it's pretty damn wild. This person is nuts. And this person is one of many people that worked on the game and it kind of shows you the type of environment yeah. that was happening over it so at this point does that mean that i can if i'm not a nasa astronaut right so does that mean that i can make me a nasa astronaut like what are we talking Bruh. about guys yeah if if you in the comment section if you don't call me a nasa astronaut i will what can i do actually uh, yeah that's Bruh. a go yeah, I need to think about it. Like, what can I do, right? Like, there needs to be something, right, that I can... Because in this case, I guess uh, she could have fired devs if they did not call uh, her a professor, right? Yeah, it makes sense, right? But what can I do to you guys, right? Like, if you don't call me an SS or not. Uh, yeah, what can I do? Yeah, that, that's that's gonna be really, really Bruh. hard. But call me an SS or not. <laughs> Of course, for two people that might take it seriously, I'm joking around. But see, like, at this point, anybody can 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 say this like you guys in the comment section can be like oh man i'm i'm bob the builder okay i'm bob the builder okay i'm a nasa si a scientist i'm a scientist i'm a i'm a scientist <laughs> i'm iron man i'm batman i'm spider man what what uh, i'm a uh, uh i'm a fairy like all this i'm a dinosaur like what what's going on what's going on bro what's going on? no you're not you're not you're a homo sapien you're just a dumbass homo sapien. That's who you are, okay? At Firewalk Studios, the developers of Concord. Listen to some of this. It's okay. wild shit. I will link his channel in the description if you want to go watch the whole video itself. Shout out to Smash I'm just going to watch a few minutes of it here. Uh, this is just crazy stuff. Listen to this. Where okay. that mind virus goes to mutate. Lisa Brown, who goes by Wordle on Twitter, and it's now protected after I called her out with these allegations. She's a developer at Firewalk and recently declared themselves as non-binary and required all co-workers to refer to her as the professor within the workplace. And the source was telling me that if people would not want to... Okay, if she's the professor, then I'm... Um, Johnny Sins. Okay, that, I'm a rocket scientist then. I'm a rocket scientist then. Refer to her as at, or didn't feel comfortable with it, then their job would be in jeopardy. Meaning that this person- By the way, so- <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. From what I understand from this, and if I'm wrong, Smash JT, please hit me up and let me know if you watch this. 
Uh, this person was not a professor. Now, a professor is somebody that works at a university. Yeah, yeah. And this person does not work at a university. And there are no c credentials for this person to be called the professor. But for some reason, wanted to be called the professor. <laughs> and if you didn't want to call her the Why? professor, uh, you would get fired. Well, at least push to be fired. I mean, this is why when people put a lot of the identity stuff on their job applications, and you hear reports of people that put that stuff on their job applications not like getting the job at a pretty high rate, this is why. Because they kind of become lawsuit disasters right these people will try to drag you into court and go on to social media and cause all kinds yeah. of problems for your company mm, mm, and you mm. know thankfully they identify themselves on the resume as soon as you get it mm. had their pronouns pushed to the point of calling them something that they have not earned before they didn't have any grums as i have to admit and i, I identify as uh, as professor is a new one for me yeah like i never heard anybody say that right like i identify as a professor like, okay, if you want to be a professor, you can be a professor. But you need to go through, like, the learning process, right? Like, go get your degree and then get your job as a professor. Then you would be a real professor, right? At this point, I can act like I'm a doctor, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can be... And I can actually buy my diploma from Alibaba.com or something like that. Right. Yeah, or, or you know what? Like, I'll buy my certificate from Alibaba.com right, right now. I'll buy it right now. And put it, hang it on my wall, and guess what? I'm a, I'm Doctor Skizzle after that. <laughs> or, or you know what? You know what? After the Doctor Disrespect story, like I, I don't think I wanna be, <laughs> I wanna identify as Doctor Skizzle or anything like that. Nah, man. Like nah, bro. What we doing here, bro? Man, man. Degrees or accomplishments to be called professor. They just decided one day when they woke up saying, "I'm a professor now," yeah. and people should start calling me that. Here's where it gets crazy. This yeah, change. That, that's the point I was making. Yeah, you need to have certain kinds of academic accomplishments to be called a professor. Exactly. One being teaching a university class, which this person obviously has not done. But, but, so, but to be honest, though, like jokes aside, though, I'm realizing why she might be calling her a professor. Okay. Because in a way, professor, what's a professor job? Teach, right? Teaching. That's uh, the professor's job. If they can push this wool crab down the kids, in a way, they are teaching as well to the younger kids. Now I understand why she want to be called professor so bad, because in a way, she is teaching all this woke stuff, and they're dropping woke crap in video games, and in a way, they're teaching and, you know, indoctrinating kids and people that are trying to play their their games now it makes sense now it makes sense like the video if it makes sense to you too so calling yourself the professor kind of a joke but this is how highly uh, this person thinks of themselves and they all think this way they all think that there's something special according to the source had led to a company-wide enforcement on adjustments and addressing and interactions meaning that people were required to address people how they demanded to be spoken to and right. meetings from this lisa brown developer when they had these scrums together at the office would be titled really weird things like meeting with the professor or teaching learning with the professor which as the source had reported to me i like how she's got a picture of her. make sure you see me with my child the kitty my only yeah. child that i'll ever have yeah it's so at this point, it's not even funny. Like, listen, I, I adore cats as well. I don't have it, but, well, you know, I want to have cats too. Nothing wrong with having cats. But it's like, this is such a stereotype, right? Like, uh, why is every, like, woke, liberal, white woman have, like, a cat and not no, no kids? Like, we're seeing this across, right? Like, I, I, it's a stereotype, but it's also true. It's also true. We're not well received by the staff there. Universally, like many of the people at Firewalk Studios felt uncomfortable around this person, but also felt oh, like bet. they'd be retaliated against if they tried to speak up and say anything because the yeah. overwhelming architecture of the company, especially when it comes to HR, was very left-leaning, mm -hmm. meaning that it was very sympathetic to pronoun bias and how people are addressed and exactly how you need to report to people. And if you don't give them that respect, then you're the person in the wrong. And those yeah. of you who've been watching the And let's be clear, like, this is... <laughs> This is not something that's unique to Firewalk Studios. This is something that plagues probably the majority of Western video game yeah. studios. Yeah. Uh, I, I just don't get it, though. I just don't get it, man. Like, I'll just make it simple for you bozos out there. Gamers just want good games, bro. Just as much as, for example, you want to go buy a car, right? You want a good car. Simple as that. I know crazy. I know this is like... Uh, child's play right now bro like y y gamers just want good games 
Just make a game for your audience. Simple as that. Just make a good game. Gamers will play. And that's it. Be a decent human being after that. It's Yeah, just make a good game. And, and uh, if you're looking to go buy a car, you want a good car, right? Just like how you would want a good car when you're looking to buy a car. Simply put, gamers when they're looking to buy a game, they also want a good game. Simple as that. Simple concept. Simple concept. They're all going down this path. They've all been infiltrated. They all have left-leaning views, and no other views are allowed there. None. You can have. Uh, like we have said it previously, these suckers want to believe in 5,000 genders. I say, okay, you want to believe that? I don't believe that, but you want to believe it? I got no problem with it. You can go ahead and believe it. These suckers want to believe in 5,000 genders, but they cannot believe in two different opinions. Let that sink in for a second, bro. I have no other views. It's very clear when you play these games and you see how they act, you look at what's her face from IGN. I just did a video on her a few weeks ago where she was calling having children a situational disability. Uh, these. Uh, yeah, that, that, that Alana Pierce chick, right? Yeah, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. So she literally said having kids is a disability. Now, I do understand that if you have kids, it's going to be harder for you to, for example, go on, like, travel the world, right? You can still do it, but I get it. Like, you're not going to be as free as a bird. I get that part, okay? You're not going to be able to... Yeah, it's gonna be expensive. Uh, expensive. The expenses are gonna kick in. I understand that part, right? Uh, but like saying that having kids is a disability, like, well, holy crap, what are we talking about here? So, yeah, these people. I, I don't blame these people, man. Like these people, minds have been corrupted. They have been brainwashed. Absolutely. It's the company. Uh, it's the. It's kind of like the company you keep, right? So if all your company is pushing this on you, you're gonna start to believe that sooner or later. These are the kinds of viewpoints that are being embedded into all of these studios channel for a while might remember i made a video talking about how this dude named nick who's a developer on halo talked about how he didn't feel comfortable designing guns for halo but could justify it because they're space fantasy guns they're not real uh yeah this is something that i believe i wanted to make a video on but something else happened and, and then i completely just got sidetracked and i made a different topic video a different video on a different topic i wanted to actually cover that this was absolutely hilarious but i couldn't get uh yeah, didn't have time, and you know what I mean, right? Stuff came up, guys. Stuff came up, okay? We had another drama that needed covering, okay? So we covered a different drama. And, and it's it's crazy. I remember when the story first broke. People were going crazy over on Twitter. Imagine you're a game dev. You're working on Halo, right? And you're... And the game is a FPS game, right? So the game got guns, brothers. Get, get, pop, 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 right? And you're a dev on that game, and you're like, No, I, I don't wanna... I don't wanna make guns. I don't wanna design guns in the game. Then why are you working there? Right? Go work at Fortnite. But even then, even Fortnite got guns. So. There we go, right? Yeah, there there we go. There we go. Even Fortnite got guns. Like, bro. Bro, like... Life so he could work on the guns and make the guns for the game because they weren't real life. And that was crazy enough in its own right. But apparently, it's becoming a very strange trend because this Lisa Brown developer also did not share much of an affinity for weapons, yet worked on develop- uh, wh What about water guns? Water guns, are they, they're defined? Uh, I'm just saying water guns, maybe, yeah, try that. Or, or, oh, that's also very offensive. Oh, that's also very bad. Okay, uh, then maybe fidget spinners. Maybe you can have fidget spinners in the games. Developing a squad-based hero shooter. It just strikes me as odd that these developers keep finding themselves in ro Or even better, have dildos in the game. Bruh. You know, have dildos in the game. <laughs> ...roles for games that they don't like doing. Like, why are you there? It's almost like the world is... Yeah, and that's a really good point. Really good point. This is where we're going to jump off. I just <laughs> wanted to cover some of this. It's a great video by SmashJT. Go check it out for sure. Guys, oh, oh, wait, but wait, there's more. Why are these people getting jobs in the video game industry when they don't like this stuff? Why are you working on a squad-based shooter if you don't like this stuff? It's even a great point. Like he pointed out, she worked at Bungie. Mm. Why are you there? Mm. You have no passion for this. This is mm. another problem in the video game industry. Can mm. we get people that have passions for the problem? Mm. Yeah. Like have a passion for gaming, mm. have a passion for gameplay. Like can, that, can we get that instead of some... It's just getting ridiculous at this point. Back in the days, you would have so many good games, though. It was so hard to pick uh, uh, one game or two games or three games a year, right? You would be like, oh, man, I want to buy this. I want to buy that. I want to buy this. Now, I mean, the good thing here, two good things, right? Gamers are coming together. Okay, gamers are reuniting. And secondly, these companies are saving us a lot of money, though. Wow. Uh, 
maybe not I, I mean they're saving us money in terms of buying new games yes but of course like there are other games uh that people play uh and there's so many microtransactions in them so ultimately sickers just cave in and buy microtransactions so in a way i guess it, it depends on a person that you are right for me like i don't buy microtransactions even though i can buy and i can that can be a write-off for me right like so i can i get a text write-off right ever heard that yeah like it, it can be an amazing thing and a beautiful thing for me but still I, i'm like i'd rather buy something else uh, or do something else with that money and text write off that that way right text write it off that way than to like spend it in the microtransactions that's not for me but but if a game is like really good and i'm loving it i'm enjoying it then maybe once or twice okay that's different right but like 80 dollars monkey punches and call of duty 100 dollars skins and call of duty and then there are some people defend it and say that it's just a reward by activision Bruh. I, i'm like bro that costs more than the game itself how are you gonna defend it but some people are like well it's just a reward bro Activision is being very nice. Back in the days, man, there were so many good games. Nowadays, it's like, yeah, whatever, bro. Guys, check out this video on the screen. I'm not sure if you were able to catch this or not. If you have not, I swear to God, man, your head is gonna spin, okay? Insane situation just went down. Check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.